weapons and surrender. And there you see that the Sith warrior actually has some crowd control abilities of his own, able to use some force lightning there to immobilize groups of opponents. Now in the background, what you're going to see here is a higher level bounty hunter ability called Death From Above, where the bounty hunter actually uses his jetpack to get above the enemies and rain down fire with his blasters and rockets. We can see these Republic Assault droids have made it deep into the heart of the ship. In the background, you may notice there seems to be some kind of funky lock on the door there. Hopefully, the bounty hunter will have some tools that will allow us to get through that door if we need to. Can anyone read me? This is engineering. We have an emergency. Please respond. The door is locked out of the control room. Thanks, have a charge in the engine. And definitely, we do need to make it through to help out the engineers. And just our luck, it looks like the bounty hunter does indeed have some tools that will help us make a through the door there. Always nice to travel with somebody that has explosives on their person. And here again you see our Star Wars heroic combat in action. You can see the warrior able to jump into a group of enemies and deflect blows from multiple angles, all while delivering attacks of his own. Now, the captain of the ship warned us there was a particularly powerful Jedi that was on the Republic ship, so we've got to keep our eyes open for any sort of activity that would indicate we're up against some Jedi here. Nice sleep dart in the background there. Good teamwork by the bounty hunter. Aha, and here we have our first lightsaber on lightsaber battle. We've got a Jedi Padawan, not a full-fledged Jedi. Let's see how our Sith warrior fares against this target. Finishes him with an impale. They're not too difficult, but it sounds like they're not done with us yet. They're breaking through this bulkhead in the center of the ship. Hold position. Don't let anyone through. Aha, and it looks like the Jedi Knight has actually come to us. So he's come off of his own ship to attack us. We're not going to have to go after him. He'll definitely provide a much greater challenge. He'll have force powers of his own to use against us, as well as a lightsaber. And you may also notice he has the ability to deflect blaster bolts, just like our Sith warrior. I've beaten worse than you. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's as successful deflecting flamethrowers as he is blaster bolts. You can see a much more difficult battle here. Only teamwork can overcome this foe. And he's finished. Well, of course, what great RPG would be complete without great loot? So let's see what we get from killing this Jedi Knight. And of course, the only thing that could be better than one lightsaber is two. So there you have it, your first ever look at gameplay in Star Wars The Old Republic. So hopefully now you've seen what makes Star Wars The Old Republic so special. At the bottom line, what we're talking about is story. We're working really hard to make sure that this is an online experience you can play with others and still get a deep, engaging, emotionally interactive experience. If you've played Bioware games before or seen any of the Star Wars movies, then you'll know what kind of epic storytelling we're talking about. And this video shows that this isn't just talk. You have seen the first ever fully voiced MMO, 
we have the first multiplayer dialogue system ever. Even though we haven't shown you everything about combat, we've shown you a couple of cool things, including the first cover system of this kind in an MMO. So that's what Star Wars The Old Republic is all about, folks. And remember, this is Star Wars. You get to play this in a universe with thousands of friends. Thanks a lot. I hope you're as excited about The Old Republic as we are.